Three, two, one. You're watching Easy and Ebra TV. Sup, Ebra? What is up, Izzy? Just in case you guys are wondering why Ebra is so fucked up, he was at a concert. <laughs> yeah, I'm not that messed up, but uh, my, my voice is gone. Uh, yeah, I just came back from an EDM concert, my very first one. Chicago. A great friend of mine from high school, we went together. It was, it was pretty fun, man. It was actually very fun. And how was it? What, what who was it? What, what did you who did you guys see? So there's this. Uh, his name is Jaw Jaws J A U Z. No J A yeah J A U Z. He was the headliner. He had two other like opening acts for him. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, he had his thing until like what, he's like came like at 10 p.m. and then it's like two in the morning. Oh wow! Yeah, so we were. And what it was only like um dance music or what was yeah it? It, like dance music and of course like you have like hip-hop whatever like like reference tracks or like uh nostalgia tracks that are remixed but yeah, yeah. like dance yeah and did you uh see like any of those like mosh pits or what is it called and shit? yeah i mean people just dancing everyone going crazy I, I didn't really see like a mosh like per se like in one group but like everyone's like all closer together you know the venue can fit like five thousand people so oh wow okay. closer people yeah yeah, some people on the floor, many people on the floor, and many, many, some people on the balconies, right? Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, it was, it was crazy. Cool. And yeah. you just went with your friend there or some other people? Yeah, yeah it's just, just a friend, yeah. Nice, man. Somebody the last minute, like, hey, man, like, let's go to the show. I said, for sure, let's see. Yeah. What happened. No, I went once to um, a Navici concert. Oh wow! Really? And that he was like in our um, high university, like he came to our university to do a show there. Yeah. And um, I remember that that was pretty fun. I remember when, cause I the show was like, like I'm I'm always like behind when it comes to stuff like that. You know, I'm not really like following the events at the university. You know, I'm just like, what's happening this day? Let's go check it out. You know, but yeah. It was like his concert and um i remember a lot of like the people i was associated with there at the university they were going there and i didn't have a ticket i didn't buy a ticket so i just like um went with my friend and we um or not my friend but the guy who was we were going as a group yeah, together yeah, yeah. but um and we just like was we just stood in line and i just held his ticket right and he held it at the same time, and we just went in through together. <laughs> That's funny. Because we were because we were both holding at the same time, and they thought we're like together or something. And then they just like okay, keep going. Yeah, that's how it was over there too. Like security were just super lenient. You can do whatever the hell you want. They wouldn't really care. <laughs> yeah, it's it's yeah. crazy. Yeah, but rest in peace to Avicii, man. That's crazy that you went to see him. Yeah, I mean, I don't re really remember it that well. It's probably but i remember like it was fun and you know there's people dancing and they enjoyed it and yeah it was it was pretty cool and he had also like some figures on the stage like you know that was pretty Visuals. cool too like kind of like a show you know and yeah. um it wasn't it wasn't bad like it was pretty fun yeah yeah like i'm not really into like edm like that i'm obviously i listen to it here and there but like it's like i don't really follow too many artists of course, I know like the main guys, like you hear the Vichys and the Zeds and the Aokis and those kind of guys, but you know, but it's not like I'm super into it. But it's, it's interesting to see, you know. Yeah, I mean, it's like I find it's always cool when they put like those, you know, drops, you know, when they like build it up, like it's like building yeah, yeah. up, and then they put a drop, and you know, dun, 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 dun. yeah, <laughs> that's that's like inter that like does something to you, you know, it's like yeah, 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 it kind of makes you like you know eager to yeah. listen to it or something. It's, it's yeah. interesting, but um, it's definitely like a cool show if you like. I wouldn't go there every weekend because I would probably no, no. be deaf, but. You know, yeah, because it's so loud there, and um, but it's fun, right? Yeah. Oh man, 
but the, to that point, it's like the build up is like that's the best part. But it does get annoying. It does get old when you get used to that rhythm, you know. Yeah, yeah. When you it, when it comes like five times in a row, you're like, okay, that now it's you know, I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But cool. That adrenaline always gets us. Yeah, that drop. Yeah. Or that build up. I mean, yeah. Build up and the drop too. Build up and the drop. Oh shit. Yeah. Yeah. What else is new? What else is in going on? Uh, I mean, I don't know if you want to talk about Corona update, I guess. Corona <laughs> update, guys. We have to do the Corona update. We have to. I mean, right after the show, my friend was like, oh, he found some article. Because actually, when we left the show, right, somebody was in a stretcher. Like, they were like... Corona people. <laughs> yeah. Some guy was like strapped down in a stretcher, like in some room. Either he had some kind of epileptic seizure or something, like he had some oh, issue or something like that. But then my friend looked up to see if it was like Corona stuff going on, right? And apparently there was a case that they found somewhere, somewhere in the suburbs, the third case in Illinois. They, they're not saying any specifics, but like that the, they didn't know that somebody in the suburbs in Illinois got it. Yeah, yeah. So it's interesting that it's it's coming more and more, you know. Yeah, I mean it's it's definitely something that's interesting because it's kind of like here in germany it's like everyone's getting like super scared and like they're starting to buy like supplies for months and months you know like everything is like sold out in the stores and it's not is everything officially sold out like for the most part ever since last not time? everything but like most things like most essentials you know they're like when you go there on normally you know when you go to the grocery store it's like you know there's something there you can take it but right now it's like always empty. Like you probably have to go like at the end of the week, you gotta wait till it comes in, you know, till they get yeah, a yeah, shipment yeah. or something. I don't know. But it's definitely getting, you know, emptier. Wow. And it's and interesting. It, I don't know if it's yeah. something, you know, to make kind of like the economy better or to make the people, you know, put money in the economy or you know to scare people i don't know it's just a yeah. interesting thing you know because it's like affecting everybody yeah i think that's honestly the, the biggest thing it's like i think it's more of an economic scare than anything because like i was reading something to like a headline i didn't i got into it but apparently this like harvard uh, professor was saying how 70 percent of the world is eventually gonna have coronavirus that majority of people that do have it they don't know they have it at all. It's just kind of like they're immune to it. So basically, Corona is going to be basically the new cold or the new flu, you know. That's just, you know, of course, yeah, that's, die that's from interesting, it. you know, because what when I when I read about it, I thought it's like man made, you know, I thought it's like someone made that shit and someone's like trying to spread it, you know, in China, yeah. they cooperated or collaborated with other scientists and made that I don't know how or when or how we how they did that but um that's what i thought and now once once you said that you know like once you said that oh it's everything's gonna have 70 percent 80 percent everyone's gonna have it it's normal right i'm just wondering how much shit we already have now you know that are already in us and yeah. people are people are, are don't know about it and they're if they found out about it they'll freak more freak more out than you know, if they didn't know about it. Yeah, it's all hype, man. And I'm just wondering that, you know, it's like, is it, you know, just going to be something that's like a cold or is it something that's like, you know, kills you in one minute or something, you know, like, you yeah. know what I mean? No, I feel like that kind of disease, it's like, it's gradual. Like you have to get like seriously ill and that just deteriorates your body as opposed to just like one kill, one strike, you know. One kill. Yeah. Headshot. <laughs> One kill headshots. One yeah. kill headshots, yeah. That like, corona killer. Yeah. That Call of Duty Corona. Yeah, there's th this I I don't know. I mean I also thought like, you know, they're gonna get us they're gonna try to like put people um in like concentration camps again, you know, and be like, Oh, it's coronavirus guys, we gotta put you guys, you know, in the quarantined um areas. Yeah. So you, we like disinfect everything or check everything, you know? I mean, if it gets to that level, then I'm going to be fucking worried, you know? It's like, yeah. 
is it going to be really just, you know, me getting quarantined or is there something else behind that, you know? You're going to get quarantined and then that bass drop. And then that quick gas chamber. <laughs> yeah, real. gas mask chamber. Or incinerator, whatever it's called. No, no, I mean, I have, like, a, that, that I, and I hope for that to happen, of course, but you never know, man. Stuff is always changing by the second. Yeah, I mean, the, the funniest thing is for me, like, when you look at the history, it's like there hasn't actually been a war for a long time. Yeah, we're missing on a war. <laughs> and it's very likely that that could happen, you know? Yeah. But... Which, which again, I believe is going to be like a, like a false flag type of situation where all the hype goes to something that actually doesn't exist. And then, yeah. like, how most wars start. Yeah, that, that could also be, you know, you, know, you don't know until you know. Yeah. You don't know until you know. Isn't that a song? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, we we used to, we said it in one episode too. If you don't know, now you know. That's Biggie, right, or something. Yeah, and like many other people said it too. And I'm just wondering before that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But I'm not infected. I hope. I don't know. Maybe I am. Maybe I was. I don't know. Yeah. I was same. also sick. You know. But I think I just had a flu. So. The baby Corona. Had that baby version. Now it's better. The baby shark version. Ah, <laughs> oh, baby shark, dude. That's a funny song. Did your kids love listening to that? <laughs> I mean, they um, back. You know, when we had that one au pair here, like they're the yeah. she like kind of like introduced that to us. Oh, because I never knew <laughs> about that before. Yeah, that, that that one DJ. He usually has like a remix to that song that he plays, but tonight he didn't play it. Oh, this everybody guy had, like, that yeah. you went to? Yeah, yeah. Everybody had like their baby shark gear. <laughs> it was funny. Wow. People wearing like these two girls wearing costumes of sharks and everything. Crazy. Look at this. He has like this popular baby shark remix. Yeah, this one song has 4.6 billion views. Yeah. For that baby shark thing. It's like stupid catchy. It's not even like baby shark like, did do. Exactly. But like even that, like I don't know how the heck those views are counted. Four point six billion views. Like that's kind of there's no way, you know. Like oh, that there means is. like why not? No, I mean like there has to like for example, like what's the other video, for example? Uh like Despacito, six point something billion views out of what, seven billion people? You tell that's probably like the same people listening to like at least a million times you know what i mean yeah for sure there's that yeah. of course it can't be exactly every person in the world seeing that one video yeah that's true but it's definitely been watched that many times you know what i mean yeah yeah and i think that that's what they mean it's just like it's just been watched that many times not yeah by one person you know right 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 but it's it's crazy that you know that they can get that I saw something yesterday about how like those um, like entered like singers and rappers and all those like celebrities who are like coming up and stuff or wannabe yeah. celebrities, how they're like buying fake streams and like fake, mm. fake lives and fake views and all that stuff, which is also pretty funny. What do you think about that? I mean, it's I think it's if it depends, you know, like what, what is the situation? But yeah, like if you're somebody who's like, there's this one guy yesterday that I saw, he looks, he's like claiming that he's a twin or something clone or something. I don't know. <laughs> he's like claiming that he was cloned and now he's a rapper or something. I don't know. I don't know his name. Sorry guys. If you know, his, you probably know his name if you're watching this, but, um, and um yeah you can look it up yeah, i'm trying to see but um he like paid to get like some um i think on twitter followers or instagram followers i don't know and like all of them are almost fake you know and then he got like interviews with specific people you know because they saw he has like such a following and 
then they he's like yeah. now actually you know like kind of popular is this guy kid boo maybe i don't know he kid looks boo. like a like an alien yeah 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 yeah, yeah. rapper hold on Yeah, this guy with the purple thing. What's his name? Kid Boo. Kid Boo? Yeah, Kid and then Boo, like B U U. Ah, uh, B U U. Yeah. He has like the, like the braids, like the purple. Yeah. That's interesting. I I've seen this guy's like uh, thumbnails before, but I never looked into this. This guy, right? Yeah. No, that's interesting. That I mean, it's not an uncommon thing. Like his real name, yeah. Marquez Lao Santiago. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Marquez. The government name. Should talk about names. Names. That's a clip. Talk <laughs> what about, about na names and crazy names and shit? Namis. Marquez. Oh man. I'm, like going to high school, elementary school for all kinds of names, man. It's interesting. Like, yeah, there's so many crazy names that people that like that parents choose for their kids. And it's so fucking funny. Like, how do you even <laughs> come up with that shit? Yeah. What's some, <laughs> what's some examples you've been number that you can think of? Yeah. Like first, first thing is I want to make sure like I'm not, I don't, you know, care, like, if you want to name your kid, whatever, foot, yeah. I don't care, name him foot, I don't care. But my problem is, like, are you thinking about his future, you know? Because, <laughs> trust me, no one is going to do business with someone called foot, you know what I mean? Like, little keep 3XX. <laughs> yeah, little kid boo, or whatever, like, are you kidding me? Like, that's not his real name, but that's right, just, right. they're, in this day and age that's getting to be a name now you know it's like yeah who what's what's like the the famous people's um kids names like blue ivy and like yeah like that bullshit like what the northwest fuck? <laughs> northwest yeah <laughs> the kardashian baby yeah i'm gonna be like yo get me a map because i don't know where <laughs> you're at yeah yeah, that's interesting, man. And then what else? Like, just crazy names, like <laughs> Chacondra or like some 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 other shit. And also, like, that's like we can talk also about like Bosnian names, like yeah, yeah, horrible. <laughs> shout out to Refik. Shout out, shout out to Menel or whatever his name is. Oh man. Don't do him like that, man. Don't do it like that. Yeah. That's my guy, man. Come on. Metal. <laughs> yeah, names like that. <laughs> Azra? Azra? Azra. 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 A lot of uh sounding names, you know. Like what's that meme? It's like if a girl's name uh uh you're gonna have so many problems at the end. <laughs> so oh, she's gonna be like ah uh, uh, uh. she's yeah. She's talking too much. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's just so many funny names. Let me let me pull up like top funny names. Yeah, that'd be funny. Top funny names for kids. Like I saw a video where like this the parent like they named their kids like some bunch of symbols and like letters, fifty characters and all that, for some reason. And they, the, the 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 hospital and government get permission for that. All right. Let's see. Let me share this. Number one, Sansa. <laughs> what the fuck is the Sansa? Game of Sans Thrones appears to be inspiring many funny songs uh, and baby names. Okay. Xavian. Wow. Sir James. Xavian. Yeah. Sir James is one. Yeah, I see that. It's a one. It's one name. Audi. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't we talk about this? Like naming. Yeah. 
brand name tattoos and all that shit. And yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what I said. There's also a funny video about that with this one guy made it who's like covering NBA stuff. And he's like saying how all like players are getting um, brand name tattoos and stuff on their skin now. Yeah. Like they don't even need to wear the shoes. They just like get the tattoos, you know. Yeah, even like the sleeves, like there were like different sleeves, different brand names on it. That's it's crazy. Just bent. Yeah. It's just crazy. Adeline Lavia. Lavia. Wow. Nevea. Lavia. Yeah, I thought Tokyo. some of the batch. Pilot Inspector. Are you kidding me? <laughs> That's the That's son of eight. Jason Lee? What the fuck are you doing, Jason Lee? Oh, for real? Pilot Inspector. Wow. Fifi Trixabel. <laughs> wow. And Apple. number 10, Apple. Name of Gwen App Paltrow's daughter. Nice. Yeah, I mean, Let's... Apple I can see as a name, but that's kind of interesting. Yeah, that's more brand shit, for real. Yeah. Can't we get any more creative than that, guys? <laughs> Man. Destry? Marks. Destry. So sounds more like destroy, isn't it? Someone just said Ocean. <laughs> Ocean Man. Ocean Audio Man. Science? No. That's not a real name. Mo <laughs> moon Unit. <laughs> How many moon units are you worth? <laughs> Moxie <laughs> Crime Fighter. Tomorrow. That's cool. <laughs> That's a good name. My name is Two. <laughs> middle name Morrow. <laughs> Briar Rose Christensen. Wow. Wyatt Isabel Kitcher. Wow. That's not that bad. Yeah, that sounds like an old, like, 1800. Bear? Bear Winslet? Bear. Brother Bear Winslet. Cricket Pearl Silverstein. That's guy. That's cool. <laughs> Cricket. Cricket Pearl Silverstein. That's my next <laughs> girl's name. <laughs> Egypt. Buddy Bear. Princess T Tiami. Bluebell yeah, Madonna? Mean. What the fuck? Heavenly Hirana Tiger Lily. Wow. That's like some yoga Indian yeah, for real. yogi <laughs> shit. Instructor. Three name. three uh Baragupta or whatever his name is. <laughs> <laughs> no, what was that lady that we saw us the other day? Ma Gandhi. The instructor, whatever her name was. Uh, I don't remember. Yeah, I forgot, but... Did you watch that movie, um, or not movie, the series with um, that one, like, guy who's, like, a guru, and then he's has, like, a ranch? Oh, I've heard of that, yeah. Oslo? I think it it's Oslo? called Wild Wild Country or something. Yeah, yeah. The oh, guy, you think... should watch that, dude. That's super in interesting. It's, like, showing yeah. how this guy came to america and built this like following or he had like a following in the india too and then he brought them over to america yeah and um then he bought like this ranch beside like this hillbilly town where there was only white people and yeah. all the white people were like freaked out because like there were so many people coming there like different religions different backgrounds and doing like f fun stuff you know like being naked and partying and yeah, stuff yeah, like that yeah, yeah. and they're all the people in the neighborhoods were like oh you know we gotta stop this <laughs> and he started like building a huge following like getting you know everyone to come like in that area and like also outside the areas but eventually like he was poisoning like homeless yeah. people because he was like getting homeless people to just come there and live there on the ranch yeah. um so they can like you know pay money or they can um 
fill some sort of quota to get a license there. I'm not sure exactly, but yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, that was funny. Like at the end, like the people find out like that the they were like drugging the homeless people so they weren't like get out of line, and they were poisoning like some fast food place, like crazy shit. Yeah, I think his name is Oslo. That's the guy. The kid's like a beard. Like he gives like he gives like these speeches too. I used to watch some of his videos before. No, no, no. That's not him. That's not him. That's, that's another guy. guy. That guy's like some other guy who's trying to be the same shit. But um, what's the film called again? Wild Wild Country. It's a series. It's a series. I think. Okay. It's not a movie. Okay. All right, right, right. Yeah. And there's this like one woman who's like helping him with all this stuff, and then she eventually like kind of like says like this is bullshit, and she leaves, and then she's also like getting chased to get to prison, and yeah, the guy oh, also. Yeah, it, yeah, you see, it, it is actually him though. Osho, I might say Osho, yeah. Osho, Osho, yeah, Osho. Bhagwan Shri. Bhagwan, yeah, Bhagwan. Yeah, Bhagwan. That's those those um, those Indian gurus, bro. Yeah, man. You gotta watch like out that, for them. The one movie what's that called? Guru from with, with, what's, his, what's his name? Which Mike one? Myers. You, I, I never watched that, but that was like a like a bad movie that people. Were Guru from trying. Mike Myers. That's a movie. Yeah, it makes fun of like these gurus from like India and all that. Came out like 2008. Yeah, it wasn't that successful. Yeah, never heard of that. No. Yeah, that came out like 2008. Let me look that up. Guru. I never watched it, but I I heard it has a lot of, lot of bad reviews. Bad reviews? It's, yeah, like it's not. It's, people don't like the movie that much. Yeah, but reviews are always fucking. But that's kind of funny that that, that kind of film was even made then because it's like it kind of in a way. Oh, you mean the like, Love Guru? The Love Guru, yeah. My ah name. okay yeah yeah yeah. that's that's yeah that was shit yeah <laughs> that was shit we're talking about this right here the love yeah. guru with mike myers yeah yeah i know what you mean now i think i watched that yeah is this to hype the movie so much but it never got props it's all good but yeah, yeah like maybe these because a white right? guy played it. <laughs> That's probably what it is too. Yeah. But whatever. Yeah, I was gonna say like these coats, man. Like they're no joke. I don't know if you ever watched it too, like uh, about Jonestown. You ever heard of that guy? Yeah, 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 yeah. That stuff is fascinating. The same thing. Like he would poison the people, and you know. Yeah, those those um, cults, right? Yeah. It's just like a cult who are. You know, they have their own. It's it's like a everything is a cult, basically. You know. Yeah, honestly, yeah. Your government is also a cult, right? It's like you guys all believe in this thing, or you know, are looking to make this thing better, right? Right. And you guys are you know living by your own rules, working in that environment. Like that's also kind of cultish too. You know, there's also I mean, then. Just- one guy at the top, you know, like it's like it's also cultish, but yeah, cultish, we, cultish. Even even the word culture, the root is cult, right? So yeah, exactly. Everything is cult. Culture. It's all about them cults. You got to put like a <laughs> like a pop here. Culture. Yeah, yeah. culture. <laughs> Rainbows and explosions. <laughs> cult. And then you cut off the U-R-E, cult. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Everyone's going to be like, whoa, what? That's so deep, bro. <laughs> let's, 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 let's talk about that, people that make things deeper than what it should be. That's so deep, bro. Yeah, man. I understand the message of that painting, dude. <laughs> like that line. <laughs> no, like, there's a legit story where Somebody dropped their glasses right in the museum. You, you probably looked this up. And somebody thought it was an art piece. And everybody stopped just to see this freaking glasses on the floor. Oh, my God. Don't, don't touch it. It's, it's art. 
It's like, what people? The guy dropped his glasses. He couldn't find him. Everybody's looking around like it's like an alien or something, you know? Dude. <laughs> That's what it is. Hold that I understand what he was doing there. I understand what he was doing there. <laughs> yeah. This here? I don't know if you can. Let me see. This year? Hold on. I can't I can't see. You can't see. No. Then open your eyes. Open <laughs> your mouth. <laughs> oh, it's probably because of the screen sharing. No screen sharing. Yeah. But Bingo. we saw it. We saw it. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's good. It's okay. Yeah. yeah, man, these uh, you know, overthinkers art. Yeah, man, just... that's that's the funny part, right? It's like, it is art. See this wall here; it signifies mellow times and and, and, and somber. <laughs> it's like, bro, and somber. <laughs> <laughs> that's the word of the day, guys. <laughs> that's the um, nineteen hundreds. Um, what is it called? 1887? I don't even know. No, we said 1784. 1784 version of English. Somber. Somber. A light like somber. A, which means dark or dull and gray or color or tone. Gloomy. Hold it's up. dull. Very somber, guys. Somber. I'll, let's or find that out for you guys. Because we are also a educational channel so yeah teach you some important things like we brought the tunes and you know so let's pull this up right here because this is the 1784 english word, word of the day, of the day. <laughs> sombre or somber dark or dull in color or tone having or conveying a feeling of deep seriousness or sadness. <laughs> That's deep. Even that definition is deep, bro. That's deep. <laughs> Let's That's dive deep. deeper, guys. Let's go dive in deeper. <laughs> <laughs> That's, a funny... That's a funny expression. Let's dive in deeper into this right now. Yeah, but, like, even expressions are funny to, to look at, too. What? Like we talk, like talk about expressions and phrases people say. Yeah, yeah. Let's dive in deeper. Let's take a closer look. <laughs> <laughs> like what are we looking at, bro? <laughs> why are we taking? Why are we taking a closer look? <laughs> what are we looking at, man? Yeah. We're already close enough. We can see you. Calm down. <laughs> what are you Let's trying to show me? What are you trying to show me there, buddy? <laughs> the information, the concoctions. Yeah, that's funny. What what did you say? What was this? What was the first one? The expression? Uh, what I said. Uh, let's dig deeper. Yeah, let's dive in deeper. Yeah, or something. Let's dive in deeper. Let's dig into <laughs> it a little deeper, guys. <laughs> Gotta go to the deep end of this thing. <laughs> <laughs> We're in the pool of knowledge. You got to dig deeper. Yeah. Deep. Oh, that's what I want to talk about. Like those, um, um, what is it called? The people who are like selling that stuff, you know what I mean? Self help. Yeah, like self help or not self even help. self help, but like people who are like edu trying to be educating people, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like those are also funny people. I went to the gas station for the first time. Here's what you can learn about that. I wrote a whole book. <laughs> I wrote a whole book about this, guys. If you're interested. One day, five hundred pages of experiences. You'd be amazed. Let's dig deeper. <laughs> We're gonna get, dig super deep. We're gonna go on to the molecular level of this problem. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. They say stuff like that too. Or they say like, okay, we're gonna give you three steps. Just stick around till the end, and I'll give you th yeah. three steps to the success. And then they have to say it once, then repeat it, then then make a test. Okay, so what's the three steps? <laughs> <laughs> you got yeah. them. <laughs> You're on your way. That'll be nine ninety nine. Thank you. Or they'd be like nine ninety seven because nowadays 
these gurus they price things at seven. I don't know if you noticed that. Oh yeah. The power of seven. It's not it's not the cheapest option nor it's not the most expensive. So let's go right in the middle. Seven. <laughs> Freaking Yeah, that's uh that's that's like a discount um thing, right? Yeah. Oh, it's not a thousand? It's nine ninety seven? Okay. Oh wow, that's kind of that's a good deal. That's a good deal right there. <laughs> Nine ninety seven. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh what? It's not a thousand. It's nine ninety seven. Okay, <laughs> that's pretty cheap. <laughs> Bring it up. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Like it's it's funny, right? It's like simple psychological tricks to just get people, you know. Yeah. Or like, what's that joke? It's like you spend. Or like, no, no, no. It's like buy this thing you're gonna save 50 bucks no you didn't save 50 bucks you spent whatever you spend on that item you know what i mean it's like something's worth 100 bucks but you're gonna save 500 bucks whatever oh i'm gonna buy this thing no you're gonna buy the price you're not buying the savings you know like yeah, 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 yeah yeah i know what you mean you mean like when when they say um it costs usually this price but it's it's actually this price that's what you mean yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Yeah, they do that a lot for like um, electronics and stuff, you know. Yes, that's they true. They say, "Oh, this phone used to cost three hundred and ninety dollars, and now it's one twenty." Deal. You saved three hundred bucks or whatever. Yeah, two hundred bucks. No, you didn't save nothing. You paid it full. Yeah, exactly. Saving would be buying it for hundred twenty and getting then a discount on that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But thinking, man, you're, you're digging deep for these. Yo, people. I'm digging deep for you guys, so you don't have to dig deep yourselves. Okay. Yeah. It's hard work. <laughs> it's really hard work. <laughs> Let's talk about hard work, man. Let's talk about hard work and how many calories you can burn by playing chess. I heard it. Oh. That's something that I saw recently on the really the Joe Rogan thing. That's funny. He's like, how many calories can you burn? He was saying like, how many cal- how many six thousand calories or something. Really, like a, like chess? a like a pro chess guy who has like a tournament is like burning six thousand calories. A game or like total, like they, just... on that day per day per day. Wow! So just <laughs> like no, it's crazy. like it's like the mental thing. It's like they're oh. thinking so much forward ahead, and that's like very you know Tiring. intensive, and it uh, kind of takes off the. You know the energy out of you. That's interesting. You can burn calories by just thinking. Guys, oh, really? it actually works. Yeah, follow these five steps. That was funny. That's yeah. we should make a course. You want to learn how to, and you have to always do the video like this. Yeah. You want to know how um, to lose calories? Hi, my name is John. Hi guys. Five years ago, my name's John. I'm an expert. <laughs> on these specific things that I will be talking about right now. Just I give learned me a this minute. yesterday. <laughs> huh? I learned all this yesterday, but I'm going to teach you how to do everything in five simple steps. In these five steps, I will teach you how to do what no other person has done before, thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Let's dive deep into it. <laughs> Let's dive deep. Step yeah. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's... um. It's true. You can, you can burn calories by thinking. Yeah. You burn calories also when you sleep, people. You know? Exactly. And so. you, when you watch TV, that doesn't mean you have to do that constantly. <laughs> no, you should definitely be active. You know, that's what I. That's also like something that I am interested in. It's like it's not about how I necessarily can be um, like super fit and super strong and like super cut or whatever you want to call it shredded that's not what i'm like kind of looking aiming for that's not me for right now maybe it will be in whatever 10 years i don't know but for right now i'm like just thinking about how can i do like simple things functional things where i'm just like you know doing a workout for like 10 to 15 minutes and i'm still getting like a lot of things done you know what i mean yeah yeah, yeah. and then i Sometimes I go running, sometimes I go, um, like do just like, you know, like when you do squats and like lunges and 
push-ups, but I just do it like in a straight line. You know what I mean? I'm like yeah, walking yeah. and doing that, and and not like just in one spot. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> nah, but nah, nah, like you know, like I just pick like four or five exercises, and then I do that. Yeah, fifty times each or hundred times each, depending on what you know how I feel. But yeah, that's yeah, that, that's key, man. The simple stuff. Like I, I don't really go, like I don't go to the gym like that anymore. When, like when I was compared to a little bit when I was younger, like occasionally I would bike ride and like try to do some calisthenic stuff here and there. But I'm not like super crazy into fitness that much. It's just for me, like, I have to have an incentive. I don't know. I can't just work out for the sake of working out. I mean, that might be weird to say, but. <laughs> no, I get it. I get it. And yeah. it's definitely, like, something that you got to get into, you know, like, got to yeah. have that discipline. You got to be like, hey, let me, you know, do this once a week or twice a week or three times a week or, you know, every day, whatever. Yeah. And it's like a routine, you know. Right, right. You gym in, bro? You gym in? Gym shark? Do you even gym, bro? Yeah. <laughs> don't talk to me if you don't gym. No, yeah. but I mean, it's not a, it's not like the end of the world if you're not going to the gym. I don't think so. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that, that's just secondary. That's what they, I think people don't realize about the gym. It's like, if you want to build muscle, okay, you can go to the gym, right? But that's that's only going to give you the, the the aesthetic you know the actual strength comes in like being able to use your body to perform do certain tasks you know yeah like, i mean i un, of course you know but i think it's like important to pick it you know and say hey this is the sport side the physical side and i think the more important side is like what are you eating what are you you know yeah. drinking what are you having for relationships around you, you know, what are you um, thinking about yourself, you know, stuff like that. That's like more important than that, you know, that's like right. for me, it's like that's important, but those getting those other things in check is is more important than, you know, gymming all the time. Yeah, I think diet probably is the biggest factor of all. Yeah, it's like probably the most important one. Because you can have the greatest workout, but if you eat, like, garbage, it's a waste of time. Yeah. I mean, that's, like, 80%, you know, yeah. of the effort. 80%. 80% of success is just showing up. Just kidding. <laughs> One of those quotes. <laughs> those Instagram <laughs> quotes, bro. Yeah. Should pull those up. <laughs> 80% of success is just showing up. <laughs> just get there. Park your car. You're there. <laughs> All right. Let's, let's open that up. Are these posts or are they just... No, they're just bullshits. Just bullshits. <laughs> 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 they're bullshits. <laughs> What is it? What is it called? What did you say it was called? Like Instagram quotes. Instagram quotes. Like inspirational quotes. Inspirational, okay. Or motivational, or something ational. Oh, I love that. Don't sleep, grind, don't stop. Joker. I don't need Joker. I just need quotes. Depression quotes. Depression quotes, yeah. Oh, I gotta go to Instagram. This is disgusting. <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> no, man. Gonna log in with our Izzy and Ebra. In case you guys don't know. Which we still got to update. We're on mainly. Instagram. Oh, by the way, I deleted all the videos. Oh, you did? Yeah. 
Thanks. That feels great. <laughs> All the hard work. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. They're saved, right? Yeah. You got them somewhere. Emma Watson, guys. What are they? What is it called? Quotes. Yeah. Oh, here's just gonna come some stupid shit, right? Because we don't follow anyone. Or do you follow anyone? No, I don't follow anyone that has quotes. <laughs> You're not quoting? Not You're not quoting? I'm, I'm not a quote guy. I'm sorry. Quotes here. This is a channel. I'm an oat guy. Oatmeal guy. No, I'm just kidding. What's a good quote channel? I don't even know any quote channels. Oh, uh, I mean, you just type in hashtag entrepreneur. You're going to find like a million <laughs> grind to success or entrepreneur <laughs> lifestyle type pages. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> All right. Let me do that. That's funny. Grind don't stop 24 seven. You're an entrepreneur. Oh yeah. Oh, here we go. Entrepreneurs guys. Oh, we should do this. This is fun. We just type in hashtags on Instagram. Instagram and then go through shit. Okay. <laughs> All right. Where is it? Here we go. Is it? Where do I go here? Here? I don't... All right. Let me just check it out here. All right. Or do I have to type in quotes? Uh, I guess if you click on one of the pages, though, like direct it to stuff. This year, this year, right? Yeah. Bill Gates told his hard professor that he would be a millionaire by the age of thirty. He could be a billionaire. <laughs> I've seen that 30. so many times. Okay. All right, now it's getting. Let me scroll down. An entire sea of water can't sink a sh ship unless it gets inside the ship. Similarly, the negativity of the world can't put you down unless you allow it to get inside you. Wow. This guy should write a book. This guy's deep. I'll buy it. He's, di he's diving deep, guys. A sea of water can't sink a ship. But oceans can. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. No, it's just so fascinating that, like, that's even a thing, you know? Yeah. Tension is who you think you should be. Relaxation is who you are. What? <laughs> that one's kind of confusing. It means just tension is who you think you should be, you know, thinking about who I'm going to be, and relaxation is who you are. Yeah. Is just you being deep. How to become rich with Bitcoin, guys. Are you guys First, tired of working for someone or are you tired of living off paychecks? Your yes. opportunity is now. Start a Bitcoin investment today and be the boss of your own. No technology, technological advances required. Oh, man. What does that, that even that's mean? That's when you know it's... <laughs> All you need is a startup investment capital and then get your get paid for life? Wow. Yeah. Investment is a hundred percent guaranteed and profits are fixed. Send a DM what to begin. Flip? That's a scam, guys. <laughs> All right. So if it's a hundred percent guaranteed, right? Sorry, I gotta open this bitch right here. <laughs> Professional crypto trader, Bitcoin consultant, six to seven figure trader, Forex. <laughs> wow. <laughs> every instagram entrepreneur she's a trader yeah look at that balance 96 bro Ninety six thousand. damn but my, my, so but my phone is all cracked up i can't <laughs> afford a phone guys but i got ninety six thousand. <laughs> i gotta i gotta my liability has gotta go down so i'm gonna do whatever it takes i didn't get that i didn't get that mobile drop insurance but I got this 96,000. Yeah. <laughs> it's just so misleading, man. You create these false hopes. 
The key to trading is success is emotional discipline. Wow. That's it. Hell yeah. If there's one thing I can teach you guys, emotional control. So just watch out for this woman. Just, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> um, what else do we got? Is this the most trending? What the fuck? What entrepreneur? Are these top nine are the most trending right now? Or what? Wow. All right, let's see what else we got here. Entrepreneur life. Yes, bro. Yeah, with the laptop and like the great view. Oh, look at these boys. <laughs> That's entrepreneur life. Right yeah. here. He's a model this, though. Exactly. He's too good. Product placement of the laptop or whatever they're What promoting. is this? This is a new generation is obsessed with looking successful instead of actually being successful. Meanwhile, I got a Lambo on the back. This is Kanye West. That's actually true, though. I, I think that's true in like every generation. What that people like they they just want to be looking successful instead of be successful. Who's yeah. this baby right here? Shit. Oh wow, yeah, there my thing breaks or what? Yeah. I'm not even <laughs> at my fullest. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What? What does what that even mean? What does it say? I'm not even at my fullest. Oh. <laughs> my fullest potential. And she's like, okay. With a vodka or something. No, <laughs> she's like in a tight ass dress and she's like pretty thick. And I was just like, I'm pretty not even thick? at. Yeah, she's <laughs> like a thick girl. And yeah. um, I, I, I love it. I love thick girls. But um, <laughs> no, I do. That's my that's my preference. But um, yeah. she's saying that she, <laughs> she's, she's not full enough. So I was like, okay. You hungry? <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> I know. I was like, are you hungry or what's going on? Not my fullest yet. <laughs> wow. Oh, these are the best. Like they show like four types of people, no job, check marks, nine to five, self-employed business owner. Yeah. No job, time, travel, money. You have time, no travel, no money. Nine to five job, time, no travel, no money. Yes. Self-employed, time, no travel, yes, money, yes. Business owner, time, yes, travel, yes, money, yes. Nah, that's BS. That's crazy. Business owner, self-employed can be the same person. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, these are the best. A lot of people can pour their energy out or some shit. Pour your heart out, guys. Your energy. Right. Let here. the world see your true self. Morgan Freeman. <laughs> some of the best advice I've been given. Don't take criticism from people you would never go to for advice. That's that's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. Props, props. I give you props. Oh, there's that Bill Gates again. Yeah. There's always some like fake story with these billionaires. Just put their name somewhere. They get like a million likes. Steve Jobs ate a burger once. <laughs> wow. Steve wow. Jobs once ate avocados. So let's make some. Gonna go to startup life. Hashtag startup life. Hell yeah. yeah. If you think you're, you are too small to make a difference, try sleeping with a mosquito in a room. <laughs> what? Dalai Lama. Hell yeah. That's the Dali. That's that Dali. The young Dali. Delai. Hey there, Lila. Delilah. Hey there, Delilah. <laughs> you are so bald. You're so freaking bald. People are not lazy. They just simply have goals that do not inspire them. Wow. Tony Robbins. The goat. The goat. <laughs> the original scam artist. Of the of the century. 
No, I'm just kidding, Tony. You can keep scamming. <laughs> Truth bomb. Tr knowledge drop. Knowledge drop. Let's drop some knowledge. Pick that shit up then. What the hell? <laughs> you drop all the time. Pick it up, you know? Yeah. Here we go. This is one PayPal account. 24 oh, that's your notes official 24 million oh that's this bitch again <laughs> that's this bitch again pick one the 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 trade girl yeah what's her name oh she has another account crazy she's everywhere man that's insane that's some fake profile shit yeah all right that was interesting let's incorporate that yeah into the next show <laughs> but yeah, what else you got for us uh nothing major for the most part nothing major just looking like a little uh what is it called folklore chanson dancer me with this look <laughs> yeah that's the uh, folklore thing. Folklore inside. Folk dancing. Folk Those dance. Let's talk about folk dance. That was f interesting. I, I never did that as a kid, but I mean, I know people that did that. Cousins and stuff like that. Do they, Do you know anyone who still does that? No, I don't think they do it anymore. Not that I know from cousins or family that I know, but they just doing sure twerking. Still goes on. <clears throat> they just do twerking. Yeah, they twerk for the people. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> Elga. <laughs> Elga, Twerkmeister. <laughs> wow, yeah. dude. But, um, you, they, you did it once folklore, but the original one, not the twerk one. Not the twerk version, but without <laughs> the twerking. We weren't that um, evolved, yeah. but... Um, yeah, I used to do that. That was when I was like eight. Damn. Like from eight to like maybe nine to like 10, 12, something like that. Yeah. And that was pretty fun. It was interesting. You know, you get to meet the like fellow people and you kind of like work together. Of course, like most of the time you're just having fun and bullshitting, but when yeah. you got to do like the dance and stuff, then it gets serious, you know, but do you ever do like public performances and things. Yeah, like I did people? a couple. Yeah. Did a couple there. I also like met like some girl that I liked. That's like the first girl that like I met that like I was interested in and liked, you know, but I don't, I don't, I don't even remember her name, but yeah, I was just like, yeah, I remember like kind of, you know, wanting to, kiss her or be with her or something like that you know <laughs> yeah but that was like the first time i had that feeling mm. when i was in that folklore and then we did some performances like you know when tour the country <laughs> we didn't tour the country we just did some performances at that local yeah, yeah. place but hanging gardens shout out to who hanging gardens remember that place <laughs> what gardens. is it called Hanging Gardens. Hanging Gardens? Yeah. Oh, my God. Is that the that hanging... where, like, all those Bosnian people come and shit? Yeah, 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 yeah. There's that. There's White Eagle. There's... <laughs> White Eagle. Yeah, that's... I know yeah. that, yeah. Ritz. No, that's actually for weddings. Never mind. That's weddings. White Eagle. Yeah. <laughs> where are you going? I'm going to the White Eagle. What are you doing? Performing. Wow. All right. All right, Big Wolf. <laughs> <laughs> go to the eagle but yeah the, i used to do that that was fun that was interesting and i also think I, it helped me like it helped my coordination kind of and my you know i Your could footwork. work yeah. i could move better footwork like i would recommend that for kids like to learn how to dance take dance lessons ta you know understand your body a little bit you know how you can move it stuff like that yeah that's definitely like a good skill to have you know right right not that you you know you can't move you know that's 
That sucks. Yeah. If you're there like a stiff board, you know, like. <laughs> but that's my recommendation. Is it the break dancer? You can show these moves. Breaking the dance. Yeah. The dance house. House. Yeah, I used to listen to house too before in the day. Yeah. They're playing us some of that last night. Back in the day when I had a. Th that cassette phase. player. Cassette player. Let's talk about cassette players. I'm just kidding. Cassette players, bruh. Do you even know what that is, people? No, of course I. Oh, you're asking me or people? You had one, right? Or did you not have one? Yeah, I had one. I still have one somewhere. I don't know where, but. How? how when are you born? I was born in 1999. 99, okay. So I was like, it's weird. That's something I was talking about too. Like, I feel like there's that weird transition from like 97 to 2003. It was like a separate era within an era. You know what I mean? Like it wasn't 90s. It wasn't 2000s. It was kind of like in between, you know? So I was kind of like that generation where I was still seeing like the cassette players, the DVDs, the tvs like the, you know stereo systems all that and then technology was transitioning from there you know yeah, yeah. i remember those like huge ass tvs you know <laughs> oh my gosh i have one of those yeah you still have one of those i we used to yeah or do you have it no. or no 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 like the ones that have like like the whole back it's like yeah it's like it weighs like fucking thousand oh pounds oh my or god something. dude that was a nightmare getting in so heavy right yeah we threw that shit away like before we moved. <laughs> but it's funny, we throw it out, not even five minutes go by, it's already smashed. They took like the metal piece inside, you know, like those collectors. Like those... Collectors. Yeah. Yeah, those garbage collectors. Yeah, 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 yeah. Collecting like metal and scrap metal. Scrap metal. Scrap metal. <laughs> you have scrap metal? <laughs> oh, yeah. Those were the best. I have five minutes, dude. Scrap middle? Scrap middle? I have the scripts. Oh. For use. They still, they have that here too. It's everywhere. It's mainly Romanians, though. Here's right? Romanians, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Here's the Over Romanians. here it's like Mexicans or Hispanics. There's Mexicans and um In Germany like that? No, I was gonna Here no, <laughs> no, no, no. Here's like barely any Mexicans, dude. Really? Barely. Barely. I mean, I miss them. They're fun. You know, they have always like <laughs> those crazy ass park parties and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> For like 10 hours, dude. <laughs> I remember once there was like a party there for like three days. Like Bro. <laughs> they were just doing party like for three days. And I was like, this is like a public park. You know, it's like, yeah. no, no, we, no, we keep going. Today. Now it's her birthday tomorrow. His yeah, birthday yeah, next yeah, week. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the same family. <laughs> <laughs> That's Shout funny. out to you guys. I, I, I miss that too, man. I love seeing that. And then I, I, we, I used to go to the beach there a lot in, when I was in Chicago. And yeah. there was always like Mexicans there like grilling and like selling like those <laughs> chips and stuff, you know? Yeah. What is that even called? Those chips that they Cheetos sell? and all that. No, 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 they sell like some Mexican chips or oh, something. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot what it's called. But yeah, I understand well. And they, they weren't even that good. Like, I was just like, all right. <laughs> There's always that one lady that, like, if you go to like Foster Beach, she'd be like, eat those. No, um, cheat those. I was Gatorades. <laughs> yeah, but sure. they had like that um, corn sometimes. That was good. Yeah. And they had also like watermelons and they had like, Thousands of things, but ice creams, yeah, yeah, and ice creams. You remember that ice cream truck? That was funny. Oh man, the same guy is like the same dude to this day. Really? Yeah, I never seen somebody else do it. Just the same guy. Crazy. Yeah, those ice cream trucks, dude. The ice cream truck is like fifty years old. All the ice cream is like hundred years old. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Now uh, you can order it. You know? Yeah. Let me get that uh, express. Express ice cream truck. Don't they have that Amazon Fresh there or something? Amazon Fresh? Yeah. You mean like Go Fresh? 
I don't know, but there's, there's millions of these like food companies, man. It's like, yeah, that's def- that's a very common thing. Yeah, they got that there now, right? Yeah. Nate, what what annoys me here is that you don't have like um, in the states like you can order food, and yeah. they bring it to you. Like you can order like for seven days, you know, and you can be like, hey, make those meals and then send it to me. But here they that's not yet developed and i'm just like why are they so behind guys come on yeah don't they don't trust it hmm? they don't trust it they have to have a person in the box and then come out make it for you yeah yeah but i definitely that would make a lot of stuff easier here because i don't have to always think about what i'm going to cook what i'm going to eat what i'm going to make here you know yeah that definitely does consume time for sure. And more the most poorest people spend the most time cooking, you know. It's, it's a, yeah, they have to be creative and find stuff. The most poorest people have for I had I think that are like cooking the most. <laughs> yeah. Right? If you think about it. I mean, of course like chefs and all that stuff that doesn't count, right? Cuz they're yeah, not, yeah, yeah. cuz they're not poor. They're everyday people. But like if you go to like india if you go to like china or here even in europe and in the states also like the most poorest people are like cooking like crazy stuff <laughs> and for yeah. long times too right? punching that cabbage oh i used to uh, there's a funny story about cabbage like i was like you know how um we like as balkan people love to eat cabbage a lot you know yeah. And we used to make like a barrel of cabbage and like for to for, ferment it for like next winter or something, you know? Yeah. And we would like take a barrel, we would take the cabbage, like cut holes in it, put salt in it, and then we would like do that as many cabbages as we can mm-hmm. and put them in that barrel and then fill it up with like vas- water and um some vinegar or something you know right and then next year at that time you can have that you know you can eat that and that was like super delicious and then i was cutting that you know (laughs) when it was done like when we took him out and i fucking cut my finger and i was like bleeding like crazy you know you know those like old school rags you know they were like full like with blood like yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything was around there. Everything was like, I think I even have to go to the hospital or something, but. Oh, man. And you can still see it here. I don't know if you can see that, but. Uh, no, I can't tell. No, no, but. E.T. <laughs> E.T. fingers, but. Yeah. No. Yeah. That was pretty uh, scary. And that was only like 10 or something, 11. <laughs> Watch out for them knives, knives, kniffs, kniffs. Yeah. yeah, that's the German word of the day, Messa. Messa. Brought to you by the Messa. Knife. Messa means knife. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's end it here. Okay. And. As peace always, out. peace out, people. Have a wonderful Corona time. Bye. Yeah.